Hello guys and welcome to Tech Toffee. So in the previous video, we have seen that how to calculate the execution time of a function, which is getting us whether a number is a prime or not. Now we are creating an another function called get nth prime number. So this will give us the nth prime number. So we will pass an index to it. Say we want first prime number. So it will return two. Second prime number, it will return three. Third prime number, it will return five and so on. So we want to create a function basically, which will return us an nth prime number. So to create test, we will just return prime numbers dot get index minus one. So this method will return the n minus one number for this. Now we will create a unit test for it and we will do a public function for get nth prime number and we are expecting when third is asked so it will return should return five so here now we will check that what is the response here so we will do prime numbers dot get nth prime number and pass the argument as three. So in the response, you will do assert dot assert equals here. So the expected value is five and let's make it as a failing test by just writing a three here. So IntelliJ also suggests you spelling mistakes. If you do any spelling mistake, it will show a green line under it. So now if we run it, we can see that our get nth prime number third should return five is failing because the expected value is five and we are hard coding the expected value as three here. So what we can do is we can do it as a response. Now, if we run it, We can see that our test is a pass. Now the problem that we have here is we can only have this test as pass only if the R number exists in the list. But if we give an index which is beyond the size of our list, in that case, this logic of ours of storing the prime, putting the prime in a list will not work. So here, in this case, we are trying to get the 15th prime number, which is 47. So if I pass 15, I expect the response should give us a 47 as number. But will that pass? Let's see. So it is failing because the index is out of bound. We are expecting to give 14th index, getting 14 index, but there are only eight elements in the list. <laughs> to solve this issue, what we can do is we can actually calculate the prime numbers and then store it in a list. And then we can get the nth prime number. So what we are going to do here is we are going to create a loop and in this loop, we will check each number whether it is prime. If it is a prime number, we will push it to the list. And if it is a not a prime number, we will skip it. So we are we will start checking it from two here till one thousand. So so here we are going to have the similar logic as we had in our function is prime. So we will remove these logs to calculate time and we will use the variables correctly here. So basically i mod j if it is zero then i is not a prime number otherwise i is a prime number. So i mod j returns us the remainder if remainder is zero that means the function the number i is divisible by number j. 
so we will break the loop here in this case otherwise if it is a pass then what we are going to do is then the value of j will be greater than the square root of i if the value of j is greater than the square root of i then we can actually insert that number i in the prime numbers list So here we are checking if j is equal to equal to mat dot square root of i. Well, we don't have to check equal to here. We have to check if j is greater than since we are already making the loop run to j is less than equal to mat dot square root i. So we'll check here j if j is greater than mat of square root i, then we will add it to the prime numbers list. Then we will add i to the prime numbers list. Now we can easily return the nth prime number here. So what it says is just we can create it as a local variable because because this is not used in any function. Prime numbers is not used in any other function. We can ignore the other array list uh, warning for now, but rest of the thing should work as we expected. So now if we run our test, so it should pass. So 15th prime number should be 47, which is a pass. Now it is saying that 47 is a pass. Now what if I want nine, some bigger index prime number, say 75th prime number. So what will be the 75th prime number? So 75th prime number will be 379. So 379 will be the 75th prime number. So we, whenever we pass the index as 75, we expect the response to be 379. And now if we run it, it should give us correct answer. So this function is also working fine. What we can do further to improve, we have to measure the time here. That what is the time taken by this particular function to calculate prime. So we will see that what is the time taken by this for loop. And now if we run it, it will show us that what is the time taken by each function. So get nth prime number is taking 439 milliseconds. Get nth prime number 15 is taking 439. Third is taking 274 and 75 is taking 270.